Hey everybody, I'm Pinmark, and welcome to my first vlog art tutorial session. Uh, basically, it's going to be like a live stream where I draw and talk as I draw. And it's going to be chill. I'm not going to do fancy editing. I'm just going to be drawing my commission right now. And you guys will get to see what problems I run into and how I work on it. Um, and as I upload these, by all means, give comments, questions, all sorts of stuff so I can know what you guys are curious about. Um, with my first commission, I have some uh, notes as well as stuff on my phone to go off of, and uh, so I'm going to get started. Uh, basically, I think planning is more important than the actual picture, like all the details and everything, because if you know where everything goes, it calms you down and it makes the whole picture a lot easier to do. Uh, so like, well, I'm going to go back to the notes I had, like, uh, I practiced doing the faces a couple times. I've got other sheets in my room, actually, of multiple times I've tried it. This is one of the final ones of a planning test. Um, so like, here's one example. I'm going to do yet another version of it and have it right here because, um, sketching and planning helps take the edge off of art. Especially for like from what I've learned and, and like all the school I've been in, when you can sketch out a picture and really like run into the problems ahead of time before it's your final draft, that makes all the difference. So like in this picture, um, I'm doing like a, a thumbnail version of the picture, a very tiny box, which represents a whole picture, a whole sheet of paper, but I'm doing a tiny little box of it. And that way, if I have to do multiple versions of it, I can just keep doing lots of little boxes and test it out in each box. And I didn't have to waste a whole sheet of paper. I just did a tiny little box. And in each of those little thumbnails, it's a lot easier to go, okay, I need a really big couch where all these characters are going to sit. So it's going to be a long couch. And I just keep your lines loose and don't make them very dark. Uh, on the computer, it's a lot easier because all you have to do is just lower the opacity, which is how dark are your lines. Bad grammar, bad grammar. Hit the, hit the camera. Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, my tripod is so unstable in this position. Uh, I had to uh, tape a pencil to the desk so that the tripod doesn't fall over. Very elegant. Uh, but yeah, um, keep your lines light so it's really easy to erase. Um, because you want sketches to be loose. Like, I don't draw uh, one line for the back of the couch. I drew a bunch of little lines. Because it's easier to, to, like, look at my options. Like, okay, this middle line could have been the one I want. Or maybe it's that top line. Or that lower line. So when you sketch, keep it loose. Don't try and do one big line and hard edges. Because drawing like this is hard. Because I already wobbled at the top. Doing one perfect line, don't ever do that. No, don't do not do it. <laughs> keep it loose. Keep it light. Not just easier to erase, but when you keep it loose like that, you get like a fuzzy, perfect idea. If that made any sense. Uh, yeah, this is what I do for every single picture I draw. Especially for like, if it's going to be a big finished product and I need to figure it out and make it look perfect. I, the first drawing I do is not going to be the final draft, not even like the second, third or fourth. Like I just, I do lots of these little guys because I'm so paranoid of messing up that if I do a bunch of little ones, I don't care if they mess up because then I can just do another one. And that's kind of the point of sketches and like planning. Um, the person commissioning me, uh, has a very, very busy picture. Um, they've got like a, a wall with a calendar and a table and a big poster that's going to be framed. Uh, and see, like right now, I just realized that calendar is too big. If that's going to be a movie poster right here, that's a movie poster, then that calendar should be like a lot smaller. Or this calendar needs to be... A, or, uh, see, I can't even... 
put stuff together right in my mouth. I can't talk. <laughs> um, like I'm already running into a problem. I also need to have a bookshelf. So like maybe I could squeeze it in here or I'll start my next sketch over again, looking at this one of, okay, make the calendar smaller, make that smaller, or maybe I should squish them together. So I start another one and go, okay, long couch again. All right. Something like that. And see, I'm super messy. Like keep it loose, keep it messy because you're going with your idea. You're letting yourself think with a pencil. So yeah, none of this is professional. I'm not really making this a tutorial so much as you guys can see what I do when I draw. Um, I really hope these work, these vlog whatevers. Um, not really vlogs, because I'm not videoing myself. I'm just live streaming without the live part. <laughs> I don't know. Um, there's going to be a pizza box here. They said uh, they wanted a, a phone. They wanted a, uh, a drink, I think it was. I hope you can see okay. But uh, yeah, they're going to have a drink there. A big mug of something. Along with, I think, like a bag of chips and some cans. And like, yeah, keep, keep it loose. Keep it sketchy. I'll say that over and over because it's it's kind of the most important part of a picture because if I know where everything goes later on I can I can speed up I can just go oh, okay let's start adding in thick lines and let's start putting blots of color and you know it gets a lot easier as the picture gets close to being finished when you've already figured out the picture like, you know a lot of, if you do a lot of pictures uh, sitting down on a blank sheet of paper, that's scary. And if you're like, okay, right now, I'm gonna start drawing the picture of this is gonna be it. Yeah, you can be more uh, spontaneous, but that's also really like intimidating. So I, yeah, I wouldn't do that. I've done it. I've done it so many times. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm 25 and I've been drawing, well, I've been drawing for, my whole life but usually it was just like I'm being silly and I didn't really care what I was doing it was only in high school when I actually was like this is this is something I want to do maybe as a job like when I realized I have to start taking things seriously uh, I was like oh well I, I love drawing maybe I can make art somehow and make that be my job so I've only been taking it seriously for like seven or eight years which isn't much compared to some people. Because, uh, yeah, all through college uh, and high school, I I actually started trying to learn this stuff. So, um, so here, I've got my little room. The next thing I'm probably going to start doing is the characters. Uh, I'm, again, keeping it loose because I have to fit four people on a couch. So I tried to make this a big enough couch. Um, another idea that I might do in another thumbnail is, whoop, sorry. Uh, I might do another thumbnail where I try a double couch, you know, like here's one part and then there's like a, you know, I've seen it in like, I don't know, bigger houses that are not mine <laughs> where they have uh, two couches put together. Or like, it's like an L-shaped couch, or it's like a corner seat. Those are cool. I've never had one. But yeah, like, I might have to do that if this doesn't work. Um, but yeah, this is going to be four people. I guess maybe they're just like, you know, if you've got your, your friends, I guess, gathered on a couch, someone will sit on the edge of the couch and be like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Um, got... I'm trying to remember, it was the, the middle person here who's hunched over. They're all playing a video game. Um, one of them is about to win, and they're all hunched over being serious. Uh, one person was looking towards the other. I'll do loose lines and scribbles, 
Just like this person's concentrating, so I'll do a bunch of like really squished together lines. You can't even tell what I've drawn. But when I look at the thumbnail, I'll go, oh right, this one has lots of like scrunched up features. And so it helps me. Um, so just keep things sketchy and keep the, the basic idea, like a skeleton for your final picture. Uh, I think I've talked long enough and shown you some things. Uh, let me know how this went. If you have any advice or questions, please let me know because I'm learning as I go. This is new to me and I want to help any way that I can. Thank you for watching. This is my video art tutorial. I'm Pinmark and thanks for watching.